Hello, dreamers from all over the world. I am thrilled to be here with you today to celebrate the fifth anniversary of World Dream Day. Congratulations. World Dream Day was founded by a dear friend, a brilliant leader, and a powerful dreamer herself, Ozio Maiguanu. And I'm here today to share with you what dreams of mine have brought me to America, what visions and aspirations brought me to the personal and professional place I'm at right now, and what particular dream that quickened in my heart when I met Ozioma got us to this point to celebrate together and co-create together. Well, I am Mila Popovic. I'm an independent academic specializing in humanities and a systems scientist. I'm the founder of Evolved Leadership. It's a program, a practice, and a community envisioned to empower, educate, elevate, and entitle new leadership for transformational change. So what is my dream that I would like to share today? It is fascinating to be asked to share a dream that is greater than yourself. That is a dream that you not only dream for yourself, but you're the, capable to share it with the whole world and dream it up with the whole world and realize it with the whole world. This is very exciting. One of those particular dreams is coming true this very year as I conjoin with uh, Ozioma to celebrate dreamers, visionaries, and poets. Namely, I am the co-organizer of a social movement called 100,000 Poets for Change in the Denver, Colorado area. 100,000 Poets for Change, that are now growing to musicians and artists, was started in California and is now taking place every year at the end of September all over the world in more than 600 cities all over the world. So this is very opportune time, both for World Dream Day as well as 100,000 Poets for Change and many, many more brilliant, powerful, elevated, aspiring, and ever-evolving initiatives, fronts, communities, organizations that are joining, especially in the peaking of this year to take us further into our own collective and individual evolution. So I decided to create 100,000 Women Poets for Change to celebrate feminine intelligence um, that is in us all for the greater integration of the feminine intelligence in ourselves and collective and for the greater balance of the masculine and feminine gifts that we all have. And I called it the quickening. This year, the quickening 100,000 women ports for change of bringing extraordinary partners such as World Dream Day, Ozioma's Burn Bright, uh, One Billion Acts of Peace, Wild Foundation, Humanities Team, we have over 15 organizations that are coming together to dream together, to sing, dance, evoking the power of the quickening of a new life in a woman's body, of the quickening of a dream and a new purpose in her and our life, of a quickening of a new vision for the world that we should co-generate and bring forth and deliver and birth as well as the acceleration of women's leadership towards that vision. So imagine how thrilled, inspired, and excited I got when Ozioma invited me to join the company of another four extraordinary women voices that today will celebrate with you the launching of the World Dream Day tomorrow on the 25th of September this year. So what is my dream then that is greater than myself? which includes myself and you and the world and the invitation to join into it. My dream is the world of authentic individuals. Those are the ones that have the compassionate courage to undergo personal transformation and prospect the depths of their being to bring forth from their own depths boons, gifts, capacities, visions, innovative ideas for community benefit, for community building. 
My dream is a world filled of such authentic individuals that are capable of recognizing most difficult times as the most opportune moments to do so. They have the courage of conviction and creative vision to see that the many disasters and devastations that surround us are actually and can be potential fertile soil for soul seeding for social transformation. What do I do about that? How do I generate impact? That's what I do in every sphere of my life. I bring all of me fully present with all of my energies and in the way I relate to myself, to another, in the community that I move and work with, whether locally or globally. That's how I show up for myself, for others, for our planet and beyond. In the spirit of the quickening of our World Dream Day, I share with you this new one. In the span of these hips, multiverses, many have lost their way, somnambulists, hoping to find one last repose and nest their restless heads, cosmonauts, astronauts, floating in the space, unable to return, would-be writers holding onto cord lines without strings attached to waxing and waning in the moon blood, but needing to be held and imprinted into the ancient spasming walls of interminable deliveries. The womb filled from within, the sweetness descending, seeping into uterine impasse, pregnant with the only original idea, dream, immaculate, light conception, anticipating birth of a lost home, a newfound world. What a joy to be able to do this with you. I'm extremely grateful for your time, for your attention, for your care, for the visions that you're birthing within yourself right now. Allow them to bubble up, allow them to come out and be announced to the world because that's how they intensify, amplify, activate. For what else are we but a dream of many generations? Think about it, rather feel it. You and I, right now in this salient moment, are the realization of dreams of many generations on the greater continuum of human history. You are a dream come alive, come true, and somebody's passion and desire. So let us rise, let us quicken and rise to that inspired responsibility, loving responsibility that we have. So I invite you to share your creations and your visions. I invite you to share this and use um, hashtag World Dream Day so that we, you can join the experience and invite others to come with us, gather with us, and rise with us. And I want to ask you, tell me, tell us, how can we be a part of your dream and your dream activation today? <laughs>